The cost of developing methods to keep Japan's youth forever young consumes a significant portion of the country's budget. Another critical step forward in making people live longer has been testing a vaccine against cells that cause humans to age. Researchers at Juntendo University in Japan discovered that giving mice a medicine that targets a protein found in senescent cells slowed the aging process. Senescent cells have ceased to divide naturally and no longer produce new copies of themselves. The researchers discovered a protein in both humans and senescent mouse cells, and they used one of the protein's amino acids to make the peptide vaccine. In this video, we're going to see how vaccination causes the body to produce antibodies that bind to senescent cells and are then removed by white blood cells that bind to longevity antibodies. The researchers discovered that giving the vaccine to animals with stiff arteries caused a significant number of the senescent cells that had accumulated over time to die, resulting in a reduction in the size of the sick regions. When it was given to elderly mice, it was discovered that they became weaker at a slower rate than animals who had not been infected with the virus. Many drugs currently used to eliminate senescent cells are also used to treat cancer and have been linked to side effects. The new vaccine was discovered to have fewer side effects and be more effective than the previous one. What exactly does the phrase cell senescence mean? Senescent cells, which have stopped producing copies of themselves, are commonly caused by DNA damage. Cellular senescence is thought to play a role in aging and age-related diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and cancer. Senescent cells secrete several chemicals that alter tissue function, according to Dr. Salvador Massip, who directs the University of Leicester's Mechanisms of Cancer and Aging Lab. They call immune system cells in hopes that they would be able to clear them, Massip says. But this doesn't work in the end. Due to the intricacy of the underlying biological system, it is exceedingly unlikely that a single medication could completely stop or reverse the aging process. However, there are other ways to slow things down and removing senescent cells appears to be one of the easiest and perhaps most successful. A number of approaches can be used to eliminate senescent cells. One can only live for a certain length of time. According to Massip's findings, prolonging the longevity of mice by lowering the number of senescent cells in their body increased their average lifespan by 15%. Other claims that other experiments utilizing the same architecture have shown a 35% increase. It's vital to remember that scientists don't yet know how much an alive being's lifespan can be extended. Nobody has made up their mind on how they feel about this fascinating topic. Some people believe there is a hard limit to how long people may live. Estimates are around 130 years. But others believe immortality is theoretically feasible, Massip writes. It is far too early to speculate on how much longer people can live or whether the average lifespan has a limit. The research team, led by Toro Minamino, a professor at Gentendo University, revealed that mice administered the vaccine had fewer zombie cells, also known as senescent cells, and fewer wooden blood vessels in the deceased areas. We may anticipate that the vaccine is used to treat age-related ailments like vascular stiffness, diabetes, and others, according to Minamino. The researchers' findings were published in an online paper in the journal Nature Aging in 2021. Senescent cells have ceased to divide but have not yet died due to their advanced age. Releasing substances that the immune system can detect triggers inflammation in neighboring healthy cells. What exactly do we mean when we say zombie cells? Senescence is an age-related natural phenomenon that happens in cells. This is because the cell's useful life has come to an end. Because it has done dividing and contributes to metabolic functions essential for survival, a cell should die and be recycled towards the end of its existence. The senescence-associated secretory phenotype, often known as SASP, is a genetic marker that causes cells that are otherwise healthy to start aging. Toxic Chemicals Production SASP produces toxic chemicals that injure neighboring cells, the extracellular matrix, and other structural components. This causes a cascade of harmful consequences, including chronic inflammation, arthritis, 
tight blood vessels, and hastening the aging process in healthy cells. Glycoprotein no metastatic melanoma protein B, GPNMB, was discovered in aging cells in large amounts in both humans and animals. The researchers created a peptide vaccination based on an amino acid present in GPNMB. This immunization causes the body to produce antibodies that adhere to the senescent cells. Once antibodies have been attached to senescent cells, leukocytes will attach themselves to the antibodies and kill the senescent cells. Experiments on the aging process. The vaccination was given to mice with stiff arteries, and the results showed that senescent cells were eliminated. The stiffening affected area's size was reduced. When compared to animals that were not given the vaccinations, the aged mice who received vaccines reduced the process of becoming frail. We think the vaccine will be used to treat vascular stiffness, diabetes, and other age-related illnesses, says Professor Minamino of Juntendo University, the project's principal investigator. Even though hemolytic medications typically generate unpleasant or potentially dangerous side effects, they are generally beneficial if enough research is done. According to some specialists, the new immunization gives protection for a longer length of time and has fewer side effects. According to the World Health Organization, Japan is the country with the longest life expectancy. It also has the most tremendous healthy life expectancy globally at 84.2 years, compared to 78.5 years in the United States, 74.8 years. On the other hand, Japan did not consistently rank first in the international rankings. The fact that Japan's average lifespan has grown by over 20 years since 1951, when it was significantly lower than the rest of the industrialized world, demonstrates that significant changes are possible. Researchers are working hard to figure out what Japan has done effectively in the past to increase its residents' average longevity. Many factors, such as one's lifestyle, food, level of education, heredity, and the quality of their healthcare and retirement plans may have all had a role. Despite having one of the world's oldest populations due to its low birth rate, the government invests in novel medical solutions to help its residents live longer, healthier lives. This is noteworthy since the baby boomers is reaching the age when they will be able to retire. Our purpose at the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency, PMDA, is longevity, says Dr. Tatsuya Kondo, president of Japan's Medical Regulatory Agency. I can't know for sure if the new drug therapies help society respect life for longer. Stem Cell Research In Japan, stem cell research has long been prioritized to lower the frequency of severe illnesses and improve individuals' quality of life. According to the Financial Times, the state lost more than 12% of the $1.15 billion it had spent on medical research that was voluntary and not compulsory by law. The field of study dedicated to postponing or reversing the consequences of aging is rapidly growing. A great number of significant things have been uncovered in the preceding 10 years, Massip says. There's a good chance that the person who used the first anti-aging medication had a child. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and if you like our content, make sure to subscribe to Futuristic so you never miss a video from us.